Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, today is going to be a slightly different topic. A lot has not been spoken about this topic. So I thought I'll make a video on it. Now guys, it's extremely important to identify and understand the genus of your succulent because a lot goes around when you understand and you know the exact genus of the succulent and you will be able to understand it by the end of the video why it is so important to identify a succulent with the correct genus. So let's first understand what exactly is a genus. A genus has different meanings and it all depends where it's being applied. Now guys, when we're talking about succulents, in succulents, when we talk about genus, genus is basically a class of things that have common characteristics and then it's further divided. So basically you have your genus and then you have subdivisions. Now the subdivisions would be like species, cultivars and hybrids now when we talk about succulents there are a lot of genus under succulents now when all these genus are put together they are called as genera so genera is basically the plural form of genus now what exactly is genus so guys when we're talking about succulents let's say that we just take crassula for that matter so crassula is one genus of succulent so now i know some of you might be wondering lush gardener how does this matter genera genus it doesn't matter our succulents are any which way is dying then probably guys you need to pay a little bit more attention on this video probably your question might be answered by the end of this video so guys, if you have been following my videos, you might have noticed I have always advised you guys that if you do not know the exact ID of the succulent, but it's very, very important to identify what genus of succulent you have. Now I'm going to give you an example to help you understand better what exactly I mean. So let's take this succulent as an example. Now you happen to find the succulent in a nursery or probably you found it online. You know that it's a succulent, but you're not aware about the variety. Now, because a lot of people tend to give wrong IDs, somebody probably told you this is an Echeveria or you felt it's an Echeveria looking at the complete rosette of this succulent. So now you know that you have purchased an Echeveria. You are aware about the soil requirements. The soil has to be loose, well-draining, porous, loose. You're aware about that. You're even aware about the watering that you need not water it too much only when the soil dries. It prefers direct or indirect sunlight. So this is something that you had a clear idea about. That is why you purchased a succulent. Now everything is going fine. But after some time, you notice that the succulent is not doing quite well. You're wondering what's wrong with your echeveria. The roots are not doing quite well. You're either having a root rot, probably the stem is turning black, the leaves are falling and overall the succulent is not looking healthy. How it looked in the nursery or probably online, it's looking completely different right now. It looks more sick and you're not aware what exactly is happening. Or let's change this example. Let's say that you have been watching my video all this while from day one. And because you have been watching my video, you were quite motivated to buy succulents. Now, definitely after watching my videos, you might have got a lot of information, but you were not aware about the type of succulent. So you knew that this succulent, you know everything about succulents, but you didn't know what genus this succulent belongs to. So probably you thought this is an Echeveria because I often keep talking about Echeveria. So you assumed that this succulent is an Echeveria and you started giving out all the care. So as I said, after some time, your succulent starts to die and then you ask me this question lush gardener i have followed everything from scratch learning from your videos i was motivated and i bought this succulent from the nursery or from online and now my succulent is not doing quite well i have followed everything that you have said from soil to watering to light but the succulent is not doing quite well so the next thing what i ask you is can you show me the picture so when you send me the picture of the succulent, I tell you this is not Echeveria, but this is a Graptoveria variety. So now what was the issue? The issue was you were not aware about the exact genus of the succulent due to which there were some issues happening. So let's quickly check the dormancy and the non-dormancy period. Now guys, this is just an example. As I said, they might have mistakenly assume that this is an Echeveria. Now they might have watched my video and they are aware about the dormancy and the non-dormancy. Now because they thought that it's an Echeveria, so they have given the care tips according to Echeveria. So basically Echeveria is winter dormant, so they have 
cut down on the fertilizers they have not given any fertilizers they have also cut down on watering and because echeveria is a summer growing succulent so they have given fertilizers during the summer period and they have given ample amount of water now this is where the issue starts now they got to know that this is a graptovaria so let us check what is the dormancy table for graptovaria now guys as you can see over here graptovaria is summer dormant succulent so as you can see this is just a small example so now you will be able to get a clear idea the mess up that's going on over here probably the things that were not supposed to be done were done and the things which were supposed to be done were not done by this what I mean is the Graptovaria's growing period was during the winters and not much care was given because they thought that it is dormant. So basically there was no fertilizers given, there was not enough water given. Water was the most important thing because it's in its growing period so there was not much water given. And then when the succulent was getting in its dormant period, ample amount of water and fertilizers were given. Now the succulent did not have much chance to grow during the growing period because it was not receiving a lot of water. But now when it has entered in its dormant period, you have flushed in a lot of fertilizers and water, which is a complete no. Now because of excess fertilizers, because of excess water, the succulent roots have rotted. The succulent has turned even more weak with the excess amount of fertilizers in the soil. Due to this, the succulent is starting to have trouble. So now I know a lot of you might have this question, then what do we do? Because it's not always possible that we might know what is the exact genus of the succulent. Even I, for that matter, even after six years of growing succulents, I am not quite aware about a lot of genus, a lot of varieties of succulents. Because every other day there is a new hybrid, there is a new cultivar. So it's very difficult to get the exact genus of the succulent. A lot of times they are not even tagged or named. So what is the best option in this is do not add any fertilizers. Now guys, I personally do not use any fertilizers. So things work out really smooth for me. So if you are a kind of a person who tends to use fertilizers, then I would advise for at least a year, do not use any fertilizer. Just do your regular watering whenever the soil tends to dry, water them, but do not use any fertilizers. In this one year's period of time, do an observation, check when is the succulent doing an active growth and when the succulent is slowing down its growth. Is it in the summer? Is it in the winter? So you can keep a check on this and accordingly, then you can do a further research on the particular succulent because as i've said this earlier as well fertilizers are not very important even if you do not add fertilizers your succulents will still do fine there is no issue so guys now i'm sure you know the importance of knowing the genus of the succulent so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating